Good morning, class. I wanted to give you a video so that you can try some of this stuff in Light Fantastic. And if you ever get stuck, this can be a good reference for you to go back and see how things are done. So let me move this out of the way. What I have here for you is kind of what Light Fantastic looks like when it's finished. You can see the parts that you drew, and there's also some color in there. So today what we're going to do is just go through how to assemble all these different pieces together. You can see that it's the same shape repeated several times, but yet it looks like it was drawn together because you can see it overlapping here. So I'm going to walk through that with you. One thing about this program is that it looks better on my screen than what you may be able to see. And sometimes because of the recording, it may not smooth itself out right away. So I might pause just to let it catch up and so you can see the image clearly. But just be aware of that. So this is an example of one that's great. So some of the criteria that we're looking for in this project is one, that it's cropped four by six. Two, that you have the space pretty much filled with designs. And three, that you have some sort of color in there. Now we are going to get to the color later. So today we're going to talk about the design and how to crop it. This is another example of one that's great. Yes, there's some black space, but really if I go from corner to corner, it pretty much fills the space really well and has some nice movement. I can see her on the cloud here, it leads me up to the word dream. Again, a great one. You can see they had one person that they lit in two different places, or they might have just taken this girl and flipped her in Photoshop to get another copy and then layered the Superman logo on top. We saw this one in the presentation where she's floating on a chair. Now this one's not as good. Yes, it's a complete scene. We see what he's trying to do. It looks like he's stuck in jail. We can see some of the background that needs to be fixed still. And it could have a little bit more information for us. Um, so there was more things I would change about this one. So the first four were great. This one's kind of in the middle. Again, kind of in the middle. We can see that it's a spaceship, but there could be more things added. We could have a rocket, we could have stars, we could have planets. There's just more that could be done to this scene. And there's only one color here. And last, something that's not great. Lots of empty space, one little design in the corner, can't really see the person, don't really quite know what's going on, so we need to add more. So this is what we're going to do in the end. Um, we're going to put this together and layer things, so that's what I want to walk you through. And somewhere in here, I thought I had a little fish for us to work on. Okay, well, I don't see it. So what we're going to do is we are going to put that one together. So let me open up a new file. Okay, this is the one I started with. So this image is in the distribution folder. If you want to go along with me, it's called Fish in the folder like Fantastic. So you can try this with me, and then you can go try your own. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is if there's something wrong with the picture, the first thing you want to do is you want to do levels. Especially if it's too light in the background. So I can adjust this to see what I want it to be. So I'm going to adjust a little bit darker. And then I have two layers, my background and my levels layer. So I'm going to start by flattening this down because of what I want to do later. So after you fix your levels, please do flatten your image. Okay, step two. I'm going to take rectangular marquee, lasso tool, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes lasso is nice because you can just get around these edges. And I'm going to select what I want to copy. So I have my fish, and now I want to copy the fish. I've told the computer what, now I can tell it how to. So to copy, it's just Command C. And then I'm going to paste Command V, like victory. And you can see I have a second layer here, and that's my copy. So I close this, my background, you're going to see the copy, open it back up, they're there. Go to the Move tool, and I can move my fish. So now I have two fish. Now I might decide I want this to be a different size. In order to do that, I'm going to transform it. So I go to Edit, Transform. The shortcut is Command-T. I'm on a PC, so it's going to say Control, but on the Mac, it's Command-T. So I can go to Scale, and I can stretch it out. Now, if I just grab these corners, it's going to get distorted. So in order not to distort your picture, hold down the Shift key and stretch it out. So you hold Shift as you're pulling the corner. I let go and hit Enter. 
for the check mark. All right, now I have a larger fish. I want that a little bit bigger, so my shortcut is Command T. Hold down the Shift key, stretch it out. There we go. And I can hit check. Now I have one large fish. I'm going to work with a couple fish, so I need another one. And remember, we already copied it, so I can just do a Command V, but that's going to give me a little fish. So the other thing I can do is I can go get this big fish and copy the big fish. Command C, Command V. Now I have two big fish. Now this one I want to go the other way. So I'm going to go back up to Edit, Transform, and this time I'm going to flip it horizontal. Once it's flipped, I can now move it, and I'm going to layer it over this other one. Now here is your first problem. Because you copied the black, it's overlapping this, and it's hiding the fish underneath. So the first thing we do is go over here into your layers, and there's a little window, and these are called your layer modes. Inside, there's a lot of different options. So I can start with the first one, Dissolve. I don't see anything. Second one, Darken. Oh, that's kind of cool. We have lots of options in here, and you want to try them all. But it seems very tedious to go through each one. Here's the shortcut. You have to be on the Move tool first. Once you're on the Move tool, on your keyboard, if you hit Shift Plus, so hold on the Shift key, hit the plus key, and it'll let you scroll through all of them really quickly. Shift plus goes one way, shift minus goes the other way. And you're going to see this window is going to change. Shift plus, shift minus. So go through and find out which one you like. Now I'm going to choose difference because I like the color that happens in here. Maybe you don't want the color, so maybe you're going to choose something I don't know, like this, like light in color, so you just get the designs. That's also very cool. So choose one that you like. I'm going with difference. I'm going to get some overlap of color. Now, I like these two. I don't like this one down here, but I'm not going to worry about that at all. Now, remember, I've already copied these two, so I'm just going to paste more of them in. Command V, like victory. And I'm going to paste in two more of them. Now, I'm going to move one this way. Now remember, they're different layers, so I have to go back to the other layer and move the other one. Okay, this guy I need to flip. Where do I go? Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. There he is. Now again, I can't see through them, so I have to change the mode on each layer. So I go to my Layer Modes. I chose Difference. There's one. I go to the other layer. Still on Normal. I change it to Difference. Now I have all four. So now I can move them wherever I want them to go. I want them to overlap like this. I'm going to grab the other one. Overlap. Okay, so now I have a design that I like to start with. And I need to move these in a little bit so that their tails make a different design. There it is. Okay, now he, this little fish down here is still a problem, but I'm not going to worry about them just yet. I want to do one more thing. I'm going to add two more top and bottom. So, paste, command V, command V twice. Now this time I want them to go vertical. So I go edit, transform, and rotate 90 degrees. So it goes this way. Go to the other fish, edit, transform, rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees. Again, change my layer mode, difference on one, difference on two. There they are. I'm still on the Move tool. I can move one towards the center, go get the other one, move this one. Oops. I went too far. Okay, so I'm just going to finish adjusting these two where I want them to go. So you decide what design you want to do. They'll figure it out. Okay, so I have all four of these. One last problem, as I said, that I had was that this little fish is there. So we're going to take out the little fish with the clone stamp. We did this before on the retouching, so let's go do it again. I want to hide all of these layers, 
so that I can just see the little fish. So I'm just going to click on these eyes and close them down for a second. And there's little fish. So I'm going to little fish, which is on the background layer. And I'm going to the clone stamp. And I want to take some of this black and cover up the fish. So I go to the black area. I hold down the option key on my keyboard. I get that bullseye symbol. I click one time and I let go. Let's do that again. I go to an empty area, hold down the option key, click one time, let go. Now I go to the fish and you can see that plus sign. That's the black that it's going to pick up. The zero is where it's going to paste it. And now the fish is gone. Remember those bracket keys next to the letter P on your keyboard that lets your tool be smaller or larger. Okay, now the fish is gone, so I can open up all the other eyes. And I have my design. I can adjust things if I need to and move them around again. Make sure you're on the move tool. But if I like what I have, then last thing is go to the crop tool. Normally I would have you do the crop tool first, but since we're changing the layout inside here, I'm going to have you do the crop tool last. So check on the top, make sure it is four by six. If you need to switch it, remember the arrows can switch things. And then I just crop my picture. And I want to make sure the top and the bottom look the same. So I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to move it over. So everything looks centered and even and symmetrical. A little smaller. There we go. And then I just check it off. And there's my finished piece. So one of them you are going to make into a design. I know some of your pictures may not be great, but I feel like with this you can go from just that one little fish into a really cool design. I'm going to take you back to that first one. That's how they did this. It was a very simple spiral. They layered it on top of a different image and just repeated the shape to get this. And you can do the same thing. If you want to add something else in, let's say I wanted to go back and add my spaceship, I could do the same thing. I could just go pick up spaceship. I could copy it. I could go back to my other image. I could paste it in. Let's put him on the top. I could go over and change the mode so you could see it through if you like that. I could go through, find which, out, which one works the best, if any, and put them inside. If I don't like it, I just close the eye out. But in the end, I have my final design. Please make sure you save this into your ID. Do not flatten it so I can still see your layers down here. But in the end, you should have some sort of really cool design. So that's your goal for today. See if you can get one done, and we'll look at something else tomorrow. Remember this fish demo is inside the distribution folder, inside Light Fantastic, but you're going to use any image that you have. If you need to borrow an image from a friend, do that, but good luck.